Personal finance is only 20% head knowledge. It's 80% behavior. And it's our behaviors with money that can get us into the biggest trouble or lead us into the biggest successes. We're all familiar with how money seems to magically vanish right after payday. However, the Japanese have uncovered the secret to making it linger in your wallet longer and even multiply. Today, their budgeting method is gaining popularity worldwide. A century ago, Japan was a traditional agricultural nation, vastly different from its modern, technologically advanced identity. How did it transform into one of the most tech-savvy countries with a developed economy and high living standards? A key factor lies in the exceptional financial competence of the Japanese people. They are adept at personal finance, employing the practice of Kakibo. So, what exactly is it? Kakibo is a Japanese method of budgeting and personal finance management. The term, Kakibo, translates to, household financial ledger, in English. Developed in Japan in the early 20th century by Hani Matoko, this method is a traditional way of tracking and managing one's finances with a focus on mindfulness and intentionality. Key features of the Kakibo method include 1. Manual recording. Unlike digital budgeting tools, Kakibo involves manually recording income, expenses, and savings in a physical ledger or notebook. 2. Categories and goals. Users categorize their spending into fixed expenses, variable expenses, discretionary spending, and savings goals. This helps individuals gain a clear understanding of their financial habits. 3. Reflection. Kakibo encourages regular reflection on spending habits, prompting users to ask questions such as, how much money do I have? And, how can I improve my financial situation? 4. Setting intentions. The method emphasizes setting financial goals and intentions for the month ahead, fostering a sense of purpose and control over one's finances. 5. Cultural influence. Kakibo incorporates elements of Japanese culture, particularly the principles of mindfulness and appreciation for the value of money. While the traditional Kakibo method involves a physical ledger, some individuals also use digital versions or apps that align with the principles of manual recording and reflection. The Japanese have mastered this art and follow the principles of simple and decluttered life. In Japan, there's a heavier focus on buying within your means and shopping small. You can even buy a single boiled egg in convenience stores. Most Japanese save 35% of their income using this method. The goal is to create a more mindful and intentional approach to managing personal finances, ultimately promoting better financial well-being. What about the $5.34 rule? Let's unveil the secret to turning small savings into big wins. $5.34 concept is not about consistently putting aside $5.34 on a daily or weekly basis. But rather it involves documenting your expenditures and prioritizing savings which can result in approximately $5.34 in savings each day. The $5.34 rule centers around acknowledging the significance of modest, seemingly trivial sums and understanding their cumulative impact over time. But imagine saving just $5.34 daily for 30 years and an 8% annual return rate could be worth around $231,000. So it's a really simple way for you to start saving, 
Write down your intentions for the month and note down all the little expenses you have and you'll just learn a lot from this process. Hope you have learned something new today. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you who has been tuning in, commenting, and supporting the channel. Your engagement means the world to me, and it's what keeps this channel going. This channel is a passion project, and your support makes it possible for me to continue doing what I love. Your subscription, likes, and shares truly make a difference. So, if you haven't already, consider subscribing, give that like button a little tap, and share this video with someone you think might enjoy it. Thanks a million for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you.